The best way to avoid scammers in India is to see them in action firsthand. So today, I went to Connaught Place and catfished a few out. First off, how these scammers work is that they approach you with some generic opening line. Hi. Oh, okay, thank you. I was just gonna go and have some tea. Huh? Oh, no, just walk, walk looking around. Yeah. India, no discipline traffic. Yeah. Very crazy traffic. I know. Which country, my friend? Oh, New Zealand. Then they try and create a rapport with you to gain your trust. Yeah. It's a Hindi movie, Salman Khan. is a very beautiful face. <laughs> your style, hair style is Salman Khan, Hindi movie. I think yeah. I saw him somewhere on a movie poster. Maybe. Yes. Salman Khan is very favorite actor. He's a Mohammedan. Yeah. He's a Mohammedan, but very powerful. Is out. Oh. Your same same look. Speak is a many people speak is a your look is a Salman. Oh really? That's nice. Yeah. Which country? New Zealand. Nice beer. Yeah. Thank you. And you from? Huh? New Zealand. A New Zealand. Like uh, the, uh, the New Zealand in Australia. Same like in Pakistan. Yeah. In India for the cricket. Right? Uh, same thing. I know that. Rivals. Yeah. I have friends living in New Zealand. Once they started a conversation with you, they'll spout off a few random facts about the country you're from. Then they'll ask, how can they help you? And by help, they mean, how can they take you to an overpriced store where they earn commission? What you're gonna see next are small parts of my trip with two scammers. The first to buy a railway ticket and the second to buy a pashmina. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight every single lie they tell and I've translated the Hindi they thought I couldn't understand. Down here? Yes. This is a strange place for the government office? Yes, it's a, Janpath is a, your guide. Uh. You have a mobile, is a, all is a government approved in the Ministry of India. Oh, so the, one, the government runs this? Yes, sir. Okay. Hello, good morning. Hi, how are you? Please come. Sure. Hi. All good? Yeah, yeah. I'll come back here because I need to go get some money out from the ATM. ATM this way, sir. It's okay. I'll go this way because... No, no, no. You go to ATM. Hello? Oh, okay. This no. side ATM. Okay. Where is the ATM? 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 Do you know where it is? Okay. So what he just did was he didn't let me walk in the direction of the real Government of India Tourism Office, which is just down that lane. Him and his friends at the travel agency didn't want me to see that I'd been fooled. This is the one and only government-run India Tourism Office in New Delhi. Within a one kilometer radius, there are literally hundreds of fake tourism offices claiming to be this one. The big difference here is that they don't sell anything. They're staffed with great people who will help you plan your travel. Visit them at 88 Janpat, or John Path, as pronounced in English. Hey, this is a tourism office? Yeah, yeah. So when they see a tourist, their only intention is to divert them to here and there. They don't want the tourist to reach this office because they think that every tourist is a potential customer for them. They can sell them something. They just pay to his flight tickets and actually we do In the next clip, I'm taken to an overpriced tourist trap. I'm trying to buy a pashmina, but they want to charge me 10 times what it's really worth. These stores are really hard to get out of too. They put pressure on you to buy. What are you looking for now? Uh, I got tickets. I'm looking for like a pashmina or something. A gift. Gift is better than this one, right? So it's the Indian market. Okay. You see. Okay. So the prices are good at this market? There's a good price and not that. So good quality, good shop. Yeah. Oh, okay. And here only Western shop, 10 times expensive. Okay. okay. Okay, thanks. Jaipur is not good for saris, no? No, this shop. Oh, this shop is better. The dish is good. Hi. I just need a present for my girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Other side is gold. Okay. Hello, this is silk or? Okay. The best quality silk in the world. How much is this one? 3,000. Okay. So the cheapest one you have is 3,000. In silk. In silk. Okay. It's a very hard combination. So green and gold is a really, yeah. very Can hard Can I take a photo and send it to her? 
Or we can give it a surprise. Take one and, you know, this is it. Mm-hmm. I can do a little better price for you. In this way, too, if you really like it. Mm-hmm. I'll wait to see what she says. Yeah, because I don't want to get her something she doesn't like. Yeah. Well, she like doing any gold and this is yeah. gold. I'll just check on the pattern, I guess. Okay. You want to have a suit? I mean, I can make a suit for you. I'm giving you a suit. No, I have a 10, suit. 10,000 rupees. Mm. You're know the brand colleague of us? Yeah. You know how much they sell th- their suit for? Yeah, a lot of money. 3,000, 4,000 euros. 3,000, yeah. 2,000. So what I make is will be $200. Mm. It will be live with your silk. It will be totally hand-stitched. I'll show you the start here. Mm. I'll show you the material. This quality workmanship, uh, it will be not le- it will not cost you less than $3,000 at your work. Okay. No, I have to think about all this and come back, okay? Thank you for your help, though. Well, the scammers we met today weren't the worst of the worst. They make it hard for you to leave, and they put pressure on you to buy. If I wasn't so experienced with traveling in India, I definitely would have felt pressure to buy something just to get out of the situation. So, wine meat shop, sir? Yeah, I found some nice stuff, but I'm... People sell cheap price. Uh-huh. <laughs> no, I'll have to think about it. Because I, I like the stuff they have there. I just need to talk to my girlfriend and show her the photos. So I've seen through the photos. Yes. Yeah, so you change the price there to the healthy market. Oh, no. So I need to go eat price. now. I'm tired. I'm going to go eat. Well, this time for here, no, so no restaurant. Oh. I saw some restaurants up there, no? Where? In Kunot Place. This place, no? Yes. Yeah, so many, many restaurants. At this time, no, but for open for... It's lunch time, so. Yeah, for lunch time. Mm. I'll go to there for after I'm going to the same place. No, no, no. I'm hungry now. Now that you've seen these guys in action, you know the signs to look for, so you can avoid them altogether. If you're worried about traveling in India, or you want to get the best price when bargaining, check out my quick start guide at indiasurvivalguide.com.